Hi guys and thank you for joining me for another video. Today I wanted to do a cage tour for Brick. So Brick is my Syrian hamster and she lives in this cage here which is the Detolf. Now unfortunately Brick has been showing some signs of ageing recently so I was definitely bearing that in mind while setting up her cage. So I just wanted to give you like a little walk through some of the stuff I've decided to include in her setup this time around. So here's just a little view from the top. So the IKEA Detolf cabinet if you're using it as a cage does need a DIY lid and, uh, and this is mine so it's just like a wooden frame and then there's some mesh uh, in the middle here. And if I was to build this again I would definitely either make a raised lid or at least split it into two um, separate lids so it didn't all have to come off um, as one. But this works perfectly fine um, and I do really enjoy the cage as is. So I'm just going to take the lid off now and uh, we'll take a look at the inside. So we'll start on this end of the cage. So this end has the deepest area of bedding so it's full of this uh, white bedding here which is tea bag bedding. Uh, personally my favourite one to use. It holds burrows great and it's also a really reasonable price as well. So there are a few lighter items on here just um, so it doesn't like weigh down the bedding because I will find that tea bag bedding um, does drop down a lot very very quickly. Uh, but as you can see it's sort of to the top of the cage at the moment. We've got like a grassy tunnel, uh, there's some chews scattered around here and these like leaves here are from a forage mix. Just for another little option for forage as well I have put a millet spray there. There's a couple more chews sticking out of the bedding. Now this is uh, one of my favourite things I think I've ever bought that's Syrian size. It's a grass uh, nest but it's absolutely massive. Um, I got this from Zoo Plus and I don't think you can get it anymore which um, it's kind of disappointing, you can't get a lot of stuff from Zoo Plus anymore um, since Brexit. But uh, this works really well if you partly bury it into the bedding. So there's like an entrance here, then one on the opposite side, and then it has some on the sides as well. And I think it's um, a great tool for starting burrows. So I always like partially bury that. Um, so they have a tool to start their burrows. We have uh, some more chews. Again, this is something I got from Zoo Plus, and I'm not sure if you can get it anymore. Um, if you can, this is definitely a great item, a uh, Syrian sized item. Uh, and it's just a little wicker tunnel. Well, I say little, it's actually, uh, it's absolutely massive. And I think this is the smaller size of the two they offer as well. So, uh, yeah, quite a good item there. Then we have this little, uh, again, another grassy hide. And then I'm just going to come down the front because I do have a little bendy bridge here um, in the bedding. I didn't know whether this would actually do anything. I've seen people do this before and, like, the hamster comes and, like, slips right up on the glass. Um, I've not seen Brick sleep in there or anything but she definitely has gone in there and like you can't see it because it's so dark in there but there is like a tunnel entrance at the back that she's built so she's like built it into her burrows which is really nice so I do see her in there sometimes. So there is just um, all the bedding up there and then it just kind of slopes down as we move across but I do have a thin layer of Orbeos all the way across um, just you know just to protect uh, especially the wooden ends as much as possible just so everything gets absorbed and the Orbeos just pretty much runs the entire length of the cage. So coming back into the cage we have a couple more chews, uh, there's still a lot of forage around and then we have this little cardboard tunnel here. This just goes directly into, it's quite a long tunnel actually, it goes quite far. Um, but that's just again to help with uh, starting burrows and this is where when Brick wakes up she will come out of here um, at night. Then we have this uh, house here, I really like this house, oh, I think I got it from a Pets Corner store um, one time and I've got some uh, sprays as well scattered around it, they're kind of like, I tried to like prop them up um, so it looked good <laughs> but as soon as break you know touched them they started falling over. Uh, we have a uh, chew at the back, now this sand bath here is kind of the main change I had to make when uh, I noticed that she was struggling with getting around the cage because I did used to have a sand bath that was a cat litter tray. It was from Home Bargains and it gave this amazingly large area of sand but unfortunately it did have quite a big drop involved and getting in and out of it wasn't as easy for her anymore. So I thought I needed switching out so I used uh, this which is actually the first sand bath I think I ever bought and it's a serving dish from Ikea. Probably got the idea from it from a YouTube video. Um, but as you can see it kind of like keeps everything level because you can kind of bury it down in the Orbeos and she can just kind of like walk across it. I'd say the only downside is kind of its size um, but for Brick at the moment I think this definitely works the best. And I actually really like how this area turned out, it looks really summery um, to me. If we move on a little bit we have this hide. Now I got this from Rat Rations when I bought some new uh, food for my dwarfs and <laughs> um, I did already have it in blue but... 
uh, I saw this on their website and um, I had used my blue one for brick in the past and she's fitting it um, so I thought as another Syrian size ceramic hide which are hard to get I would grab one while I was ordering from there. But here again I've tried to like space everything out just so it's easier for brick to get around but we have a food bowl which is a heart shaped one there and then we have a water dish just in front and that is a tea lot holder from Wilco. We have a whimsy chew. Uh, these carrot chews here, I have um, I have a ton of these and uh, I find they go down really well. Especially the like green on the top always seems to get chewed on first. <laughs> I've also scattered uh, a bit of forage around this section as well. Um, there was a bit more there, Brooks already had a little nibble on some of it. And then the forage mix also goes inside this little plant pot here. This uh, is a plant pot I believe I bought from Ikea a while ago. I did used to have um, an actual plant in it but the plant died, so uh, I didn't really fancy getting another one, so I decided to just clean up the pot and use it for brick instead, and that's been working really well. Then we have her Living World glass water bottle just fixed onto the side here. Um, one of the downsides of the Detolf is definitely uh, its height, so the water bottle just kind of has to go here because it's also where the low area of bedding is for the wheel. This is Brick's wheel, it's uh, the 28cm Trixie wheel. Now unfortunately um, I haven't actually seen Brick use this uh, in a couple of weeks now. Uh, now she's getting older she's not one to run on the wheel all that often. Um, but it's in there you know just in case she wants it. And in general I have just made like a cautious effort to make sure everything's spaced out and easy for her to get around. And I obviously still wanted to have like those deep areas of bedding for her because she does burrow. But I've made sure everything is kind of like sloped more like gently. There's no like harsh inclines or anything. So she could struggle um, to get up and down. But yeah this is kind of her setup. And I think it's working really well for her at the moment. And I just wanted to finish up by showing you uh, this couch thermometer, which is a fridge freezer thermometer that I bought from Amazon. Uh, it's just hung on the kind of like inside uh, metal pole of the Detolf. I didn't have to add anything on it to do this. The little hook is actually what it came with. So they do work uh, really well in the Detolf. And it's just really nice to just kind of keep an eye on the temperature that is inside Brick's cage. So that's it for Brick's cage tour. Let me know what you think of her setup. She'll probably have this for around a month or so. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.